What's up guys and welcome back to pack and build yes the series is back once again if you guys don't know what this is It's basically a series. I did throughout FIFA 15 I did like 15 episodes of it and I did one episode of it in FIFA 16 Which I'll leave a link to in the description down below It's basically a squad building series where I build Teams around bronze silver and gold players sometimes I won't sometimes I'll build full gold team sometimes full silver teams etc etc but basically, I have to pick my players through packs, or sometimes I pick them through the transfer market, or sometimes I pick my own player to build the team around, and then we build a team and head into a game, and it's just kind of a laid-back series, something that doesn't get a lot of views or likes on my channel, but it's something that I really do enjoy, so hopefully you guys do as well. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and start off this episode by picking two players from the transfer market. One's going to be gold, one's going to be silver, and I picked the bronze player, which you guys already know, it is Chuba Akpom. So we're going to pick our gold player first. I'm going to go page two, player number six, because that's my favorite number, 26. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Francis Coquelin. Haven't tried him this year, so I'm kind of looking forward to see how he plays. He's our first player in the team. And now for the silver player, we're going to go with page number six, player number two. Hopefully it's someone fairly decent. We've seen a lot of non-rares, which is not looking promising. Page six, player two can be... Kalas from the championship, unfortunately. So we're not going to use him just because it's another championship player, so we'll go to the next page. Number two, Malkwitz. Okay, he actually looks very, very good, so I'll go ahead and snatch him up. So here's all the players we have to build the team around today in the squad, and I think we're not going to put the 4 3 one two, although I really like this formation. I think either, like, the 4 3 two, one would be good, or something like... I don't know, something that has like, you know, false nine. False nine would be great. Four three three four. Um let's go four three two one. Nope, go back. I have a few ideas. Now idea number one, Cochlin needs to be over there. We're gonna go ahead and bring in Wellington Silva, because I absolutely loved him last year and I haven't tried him this year. And he gets a link with Shuba Akpom, so I think that'd be good. Uh there's a lot of Silvas, isn't, isn't there? Yeah, I think there is. We're gonna have to search Wellington. Which is fine. Well, in 10 Sylvie's first one. There we go. Search. There he is. So we'll have to change him to a right forward. So we'll get Kemp, but perfect. He goes right there in the team. And then left forward, we need someone to link with him and him. Go with an Englishman. Which wouldn't be bad. Maybe like a J Rodriguez. Someone English. That wouldn't bad. Let's see what we can do. Um, left forward, England's. Search concept players. Obviously, there's no left forwards. I'm an idiot. Left wings. You've got Jesse Lingard. Ibe. No one's tempting left wings. They're all in the left mid position, aren't they? England. You got Raheem Sterling, obviously, who's a very good player. We got Ashley Young. Jay Rodriguez, as I said before. Wayne Routledge. Scott Sinclair wouldn't be bad either. But I do kind of want to get a gold in this position just because it looks a bit nicer, in my opinion. Rolando Aarons, I wouldn't mind using as well. I think we're going to go with one of the gold guys. Sterling is right-footed. Jay Rodriguez is right-footed. Ashley Young is right-footed. I'd prefer a left-footed player in this position, to be honest. But if we can't get one, that's not too bad. I could always switch wings or swap wings if I need to. Antonio would be a great player to use as well. I might actually go with a silver. I don't know. Right now, I think Jay Rodriguez or Sterling. Let's go with Raheem, make it uh, the team a bit better. Right now, you guys probably already saw my coin total, by the way. Don't have a lot of coins, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to afford this team. But hopefully when everything sells and I sell a lot of stuff in my club, I'll have enough coins for it. But right now, I definitely don't for probably Sterling. He probably goes for like 15, 20, 30k, and he probably goes for like 10k at least. So a little bit worried about that. But here, to link up with our right back, we're going to go with a silver player, former beast, Adrian. Used to be a career mode beast. And he doesn't look too bad this year in game. He has four star skills, four star weak foot, five nine. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too great either, but doesn't look too bad. And then at center mid, for nostalgia purposes, because he's leaving the VPL to China, we're gonna bring in Ramirez. I actually kind of wanted to use him lately. I've been thinking of building squads to put him in, and this is actually perfect. So he works perfectly. Everyone links nicely together. So now we can, you know, hopefully link up the team more and have a few different leagues. Right now we only have, what, well, we actually have three leagues so far, which isn't too bad. But I want to get a bit more in here, so... Hmm. I think what we're going to do is I was going to go with, you know, go down the French route. And it would link up nicely, to be fair. But I think what we're going to do is go down Spain. 
So we can get Nacho Monreal in here because he of course plays for Arsenal and we'll get Coquelin enough links. Where is, yeah, I passed a few times, I'm dumb. Monreal, he's gonna go on the team. He's having a fantastic season for Arsenal in real life. So we'll give him a go in FIFA. And then we can just go through Spain. So Spanish center back, there's probably a few good ones. Nico Martinez pops to mind. Uh, Bartra is very good this year. Search concept players. Sergio Ramos will be too expensive. Martinez, we could go down the Bundesliga route if we need to. That wouldn't be bad. I'm just trying to think how else we put the team together. Because Malk and Adrian both need links still. So we can't really go down the Bundesliga link. Uh, link? League. Uh, actually, this isn't going to work as well as I thought it was going to. Because they both need links. So we need a like a, a league link. So let's go look at League Uh and see what other leagues we can go down. So obviously Brazil, you got Cameroon, not bad. Let's see what, what card types do we have. We only have one bronze thus far, so really we need two more if I'm going to make this a true BSG team, which honestly, I kind of just want to make this team as good as I can. Chuba Agpom plays as a silver or a golden game in my opinion, so I really don't mind that. Yeah, I guess maybe we'll just stick with one bronze. So we'll go with League, uh, see what they got at center back that we can use. Maybe someone from a different nationality so we can throw in a different league. Um, he's from Senegal. He's from Italy. That's actually good. Bring in Raggy. And then we need to get an ultimate link at center back. So we can go like Benucci and Buffon. That's not bad. We can even go some, somewhere else if we need to. So here we got center backs. Uh, so obviously Benucci came to mind because he's a little bit less expensive. Who else is there? There really isn't that many super links, is there? I have like, good keepers, anyway. Uh, Story, Nokia, Rugani. Yeah, we can go Rugani and uh, Buffon as well. No one really else that's that tempting, to be honest. Um, hmm. I think of how else I put this team together. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go with Benucci and Buffon. I think I'll work perfectly. So let's go ahead and get Benucci in the team so we can see how the team looks. So there we go, Benucci, very good center back in this game. And then of course, in goal, we need to go GG Buffon, the legend himself. There he is, Gianluigi Buffon. Not his informed card, I don't have enough coins. But there we go, that is the team completed and done. Is that a no links wasted team? It is. It's No Links Wasted. Great No Links Wasted team, but it is No Links Wasted. Uh, it does get full chem. How many leagues do we have in here? We have Italy, we have France, we have England 1, and England 2. So we have four leagues in there, which isn't too bad. It's not the best hybrid ever made, but I think it looks like a very good team, a playable team. So I'll go ahead and buy all the players. I probably need to sell a few things first so that I can afford them. And I'll meet you guys at the squad screen as well to take on an opponent. So here is the completed team on screen. We had to make a few changes just because I'm a little bit strapped for coins right now. Ashley Young comes in for Raheem Sterling. Sterling's like 6K, I think. Ashley Young is only 1 point something K, so he's a little bit cheaper. Yes, I'm that strapped for coins that I can't afford Raheem Sterling, don't ask. But he comes in, he's not a bad replacement to be fair to him, so he'll do the job just fine. And then at left back, he actually cost the same amount as Monreal, but I wanted to get another silver in here just to make the team look a bit nicer. It still looks like shit. Maybe next time I should go with a BSG team, so I have three bronzes in here. I'll make it look a bit better, but it's not a bad team. Overall, it looks pretty good. It's a four-league hybrid. I think I, I like the look of it. it. It'll do the job just fine, I think, in-game. So let's go ahead and into the game. We're in Divisions, Div 4, I think. I don't really play Divisions that much this year, so we're in Div 4 still. We're gonna go ahead and jump straight into the game and see our opponent's team. So here is my opponent's team. It's a full French team, except for Petr Cech and goalie. He's got Lacazette up front, Fakir at Cam, Toliso. Inform Brian Dabo, Inform Jignac. He's actually a Mexican fan. I can tell by his crest and his kit. He's a Chivas fan, so it should be an interesting game. They usually play better against me than American opponents, so we'll see how things go down. Let's jump straight into the game. Chuba. Oh, Chuba. Look at Chuba go! Chuba Agpom, wow! Lag there and he puts it wide. Ashley Young to Chuba Agpom, yes! Nicely done, Chuba. Doesn't have the greatest of finishing, but he's still able to put that one at the back of the net. Nice ball in from Malkwit, our silver right back into Ashley Young, who hits it into Chuba Agpom to make the score 1 0. Brian Dabo, the inform having a shot, nice save Buffon. 
the Chuba. Yes, Chuba! Look at him go! Chuba, Agpom! Oh, wow, what an awful finish. Beautiful ball over the top to Wellington Silva. Chess it down on the half volley. What an awful strike, Chuba. Playing through Ashley Young beautifully. Trying to finesse it. Petr Cech with a nice save. We get a lucky rebound. But Chuba Agpom and Ashley Young are building a nice relationship in this game. The replay, beautiful pass to Ashley Young. Tries to round the keeper and finesse it past them. But Petr Cech makes a great save. In front of the rebound, we have an open net. Ashley Young's not going to miss that. What the fuck did I just witness? <laughs> I was like, okay, sweet, easy clearance. But Kiefer just let it roll between his legs. I wasn't holding down RB or anything. I wasn't trying to dummy it. He just let it roll by him. What the fuck? All right. Chuba. Beating with the Bushi. Cutting in. Laying it off. Adrienne. Adrienne. Adrienne, just from kickoff, we score 3-1. Adrienne, the former career mode beast. He probably still is a career mode beast, to be fair to him. With a nice goal. It is a beautiful team goal. And it's 3-1. Three play, somehow finding Adrienne. Tries to shoot there, but he beats a man. Shoots anyway, and it hits off the post and in. 3-1. Okay, beautiful pass there. Um, really? Just, okay, thank you, Buffon. But what, what was that pass? All right, he's through. Lacazette. Buffon, again, another great save, Buffon. Oh my god, just, like, Buffon is ridiculous. Really recommend him. Oh, ref, really? You're gonna blow your whistle there with another Chuba Ashley Young counterattack on the way. A little bit disappointing, but we do get the 3-1 win in this game. I was gonna say lead, but win in this game. Should have been 3-0. That goal that they scored was a little bit ridiculous, honestly. Shouldn't have never gone in. But a great all-round team performance. I really like this team, to be honest. I probably won't use it again. But individually, the players are very good. I say in this team, maybe not, because I, I just, I don't know. Something about this team I don't like. But individually, I'd recommend all the players. I'd say the weakest link would probably be Raggy. Not that great, to be honest. He was a little bit of a letdown, but still not a bad card. Everyone else was amazing. Coquelin was a, you know, a tank in the midfield. Ramirez, very good. Everyone else, how good he is. Adrienne was amazing. Wellington Silva, awful shooting, but great skill, great dribbling nonetheless. Would have liked to get a few more skill runs going with him. Chuba Akpom, just amazing, honestly, for a bronze. 8.4 rating in this game. He was ridiculous. Ashley Young, man of the match in the game, was very good as well. Malquit was in the right back. And Buffon, probably, I don't know, maybe the player of the team with how many saves he made. How many did he make? Only four, but... They were some pretty big saves, so that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you guys could leave any suggestions for maybe future players for me to use in the series, that'd be awesome. Maybe players people don't normally use, that'd be awesome. Preferably, Liam, I know you're going to leave a Stoke suggestion, so no if you're still watching at this point. But no, no Stoke players, unless it's hard now to bitch. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I've been Super Real Date or Tyler, and I'll catch you guys next time.